Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on the DCEU. So today we're going to be talking a bit about Aquaman and mainly about Green Lantern. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCEU videos later this year. So as we head towards Aquaman, I'm going to be making lots of videos because even though I made quite a few on Justice League, I felt like I should have actually covered it more. So when we get these new films like Aquaman, then Shazam, then we got Wonder Woman, then we got Green Lantern Corps and then we got a few other films after that. I'm going to be making lots of videos heading up to it so please to be sure to turn on notifications and subscribe so you don't miss those. But today we're going to be talking about some epic news mainly in regards to Green Lantern first. So Green Lantern Corps is a movie that is going to be coming out within the next five or so years I would hazard the guess. So it's in development right now they've started work on it and it's been officially confirmed Jeff Johns is going to be producing it and he's also so writing the Green Lantern Corps film so that is really epic because Jeff Johns if you didn't know, he stepped down from his role in DC Entertainment to actually get this producing and writing deal, which in my eyes is really cool because now we got Jim Lee, and Jim Lee is one of comics' all-time greatest in DC, as well as Jeff Johns. And with Jeff actually writing Green Lantern, literally, he used to write Green Lantern for over eight years or so in the comics. It's just like the perfect combination if he can get that screenplay to be absolutely awesome like his comic book writing is. So this film has been officially confirmed that it will feature Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart. So that is crazy news. So obviously we knew there was going to be a lot of Green Lanterns because it's the Green Lantern Corps, it's not just Green Lantern. And they're going to fix the mistakes of the first Green Lantern film. And to be honest, I kind of like the Ryan Reynolds film. I think it's all right. I don't think it's anything special. I don't really like the villains in it. And obviously the CGI is a bit iffy, but you know, they're going to actually fix it and they're going to make this film to be a really good film and I know because they need to fix the reputation of the Green Lanterns because their comic book stories are literally some of the best and it's just really unfair that it's been slagged off so hard the actual franchise name so this film I have high hopes for it and I think it's going to be really good so Jeff Johns is writing and producing it can't go wrong with that really. The film will feature Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart but there will be more information soon but that's all we've got to do with Green Lantern as of now so that's a really nice teaser. So moving on to Aquaman. So you guys know that Aquaman is going to be released on December 21st of this year so we've got a while and today we're going to be talking about when to expect the trailers. So as we've been teased for a long time they are waiting to actually release the trailer until the exact right point. They've planned all their marketing and it's all been strategically planned so it works out really well and I have high hopes because I'm a big fan of James Wan. I really do like his Conjuring films and a few of his other films. He did Fast and Furious. That was a pretty solid film overall and he is a very, very strong director. So it was a great score for DC. So Aquaman will be after Justice League and it will feature Black Manta and King Orm, two characters that are massive in the Aquaman comics and I'm really looking forward to their portrayal on the big screen for the very first time. They've been in the animated series, they've been in lots of adaptations in TV, but not in film, so I'm really excited for that. So when will we get a trailer? So they're going to probably drop a trailer at Comic Con. That's where they normally drop it. Obviously they've held back for quite a while on this compared to the other DC films, but it's all for a strategic reason. And so expect it to be released at Comic Con because DC does go kind of crazy on the trailers at Comic Con and they tend to release their big film trailers actually at the event because they really capitalize on all the hype around the event because you know, if they release it on a random day, maybe they won't get as many views because People are tuning in online to watch the Comic Con panels and obviously people are at the event. So that is when they will be dropping the trailer. Obviously we haven't had official confirmation, but that is the best bet. So that's in about a month or so, but they may release like some little teasers before, maybe a poster or something like that. And I'll be sure to actually break that down and talk about that. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you did enjoy this DCEU video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. So anyway guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.